Well, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another round of random content. Um, and yeah, today we're going back to the tech reviews for um, one thing. And one piece of tech that's always been kind of interesting to me is um, software-defined radio. Um, if you don't know, it's kind of a thing, it's kind of a subsect of the whole ham radio community. It's kind of a combination between that and the open source community. And um, yeah, basically it's a way to get you to listen to radio on a computer, and I'm like, that's really cool. And also, you know, you could use it for much more nerdier things like actual engineering type stuff. You could, you could do quite a lot with these things. So I went ahead and I picked up uh, an SDR, which in this case, if you haven't read the title, it's the New Elec RTL SDR um, V5, which it's, yeah. And I bought the antenna kit bundle, so I have all the antennas needed and all the stuff needed to get started. <clears throat> We've got a very hefty pack. I've kind of looked inside of here preliminarily. Haven't really opened anything up or plugged anything in or turned it on yet, so that you're going to be kind of seeing just now. So let's head over to the bench and um, get this unboxed. All right, so here we are on the bench. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a bit of a big bag for all of it, but You'll kind of see why in a moment. Um, so starting off, we have this, which is basically it's an antenna base. Um, actually, you look out into it. It's actually open it up a bit. You've got a nice little plug here where you actually plug it into the radio, and um, unfortunately, it's not focusing in on it. But yeah, um, and then this, you put your little antenna on and it will yeah you, know, you could screw on your antenna and it will you know work through that um here in fact here we have our low frequency antenna um it's the longest one they've got and just yeah you kind of i think you will need this you do actually need to use the base because you cannot because you really cannot directly connect to the actual stick itself. Yeah. And we will get to that. Um, yeah. So, yeah. And, in fact, let's actually continue looking at the actual antennas. Um, so I'm just going to take that out. You've got your medium range antenna, which is kind of reminiscent of other ones. This is the telescopic one. Yeah. It's also bendable. It's kind of it's kind of like the ones you'd see on the, on your standard boombox, you know, because these are kind of dime a dozen. This is from what their marketing says. This is for like around the 433 megahertz area, which kind of checks out. And finally, you've got your high frequency one, which well, it does the higher frequencies. And yeah, and of the last little frivolous items, they give you this. Um, Nice little USB extension cord here, um, and you'll kind of see why in a moment. Um, and yeah, now here we actually have the actual radio itself. In fact, if I take off the thing, you can see the new Elec branding and the fact that it's an NESDR Smart. And let's actually get it down there. Um, so yeah, in fact, if I bring in a flash drive, it's you know, it's roughly the same size as a flash drive, and it's, and that's what I find really cool about this technology, because it's like, you get something that's, in fact, I'll expand out, expand out this one. In fact, it's actually, minus the little RF port, it is literally the exact same length as, you know, your standard SanDisk flash drive thing. And it's just so cool to have something like this, especially considering that this thing can actually do, um, from 100 kilohertz to um, 1.75 gigahertz, which is like really wide spectrum, and this is this is mid range. I only paid like 50 bucks for this, and yeah, so it's a really cool way to get into stuff like this. And you know, honestly, and in terms of first impressions, I really like this kit because you know, for 50 bucks you get quite a bit um, of you know just straight up RF things, and you, know, you got your your antenna base, you got all the stuff. They even got their little card for, you know, your little thank you card with the QR code for support. In fact, let me zoom down on that. Um, yeah, because let's just try and 
it's not letting me focus, but you know, but you know, it's basically, you, know, you could have, you know, you could scan the QR code and, you know, basically be free advertising for them. I've already kind of done the YouTube ad, so hopefully that works out. Yeah, I really like this thing. Um, in fact, I really like the logo that they got here because it's like, you know, nice and colorful. Um, so yeah, let's, so I think the next order of business is to actually plug it in, get it on the computer, and see what we can receive. I'm probably going to be having this kind of indoors. This will probably be pointed out at the windowsill, just so I could get data out to it, you know, so I could really listen in on things. It does have a pretty long cable, so if we need to go any longer than we already are, there we go. You know, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this uh, USB extender. It's not like I really need it. I kind of like this. To be honest, I quite like this flash drive look, and you know, it's these things are just you know insane. I mean, I like um, on the product photos. One of the most notable things was people having these plugged into the average into their Raspberry Pis. Like there was like two of them on a Raspberry Pi, just plugged in. And you know, cause I guess quite a lot of people like to. Um, rebroadcast their SDR experience on the internet. So it's like, it's this way people can just tune in using your SDR and just listen in and it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna do that because I kind of like having things local, you know. So yeah, and without further ado, let's get this onto the computer. All right, so we're here at the computer. Originally I was gonna use, um, I was gonna use our SDR Angel, but it's a very, but SDR Angel as it is is very complex. And although I was able to get a basic connection to it, it doesn't, it didn't really work out that well. Um, apparently, it works very well on the Steam Deck. So if you're a Steam Deck user and you need SDR software, um, I guess anything really works at this point. Um, so this is, in this case, is GQRX, which is a program that. Um, it's for GNU radio and um, RTL SDR is supported by it because RTL SDR is pretty common. Um, in fact, it supports quite a lot because you could even do audio cards as well um, because there is kind of because you can't actually get into VLF signals with audio cards. We really don't have, you know, we kind of don't have stuff like that. Um, you know, you got your audio out. In that, in this case, I'll probably just use that. You can only have the 48 kilohertz sample rate, so it's not going to be the best quality, but radio never really had the greatest quality in the first place. So yeah, so let's just start the DSP. So now we've got a connection to the signal. Um, so yeah, there we go. So yeah, so this is kind of standard um, SDR software. It has the waterfall pattern down here where you can just look at it. You've got your level meter up here to tell you how loud things are. And then you've got your signal. And I bet if you listen to it, you could actually hear stuff. Um, in fact, I will mute my audio here. Yeah, so here we have our audio. Um, you know, and I'm going to kind of unmute it. And you can move this around, and it will let you uh, look at things. And you can just keep clicking down, and um, you know, you could keep reducing the frequency a bit. And you can just tune it down a bit. I'm going to go into an area where I kind of know where everything is, because that is FM, normal FM radio. Um, so you've got, and of course, the it's written down in a way that is um, standard if you do anything with radio at this point. So I should be getting into 80, key, 80 kilohertz. In fact, if I go into uh, normal, and we go into stereo FM, and we keep going up to about everywhere else, so we kind of go with uh, kind of a wide-ish type one. We should be able to receive something. Something very simple. In fact, in fact, I kind of hear something right now. 
Unfortunately, I can't really show it on YouTube because it's kind of copyrighted. Also, there's a bit of noise going down. So it's kind of hard to really hear, but I can kind of hear stuff in the background. It's very noisy. Um, you know. So it is working. I can go for narrow FM. So there we go. So now we've got um, a connection to the to our radio stuff. Of course, the reception's not very good if you're indoors. Uh, I think that's more than obvious at this point. All right. So with that being said, um, how do I rate this? Well, I rate this pretty highly. I'm probably going to give this a nice 9.5 out of 10. I'm not sure if I would even keep the .5 in there anyways and make it just a straight up 10. It is it is really a pretty good piece of tech and honestly I'm kind of new to this stuff so I don't really so I really don't have that good of a rating for it yet but I will give it a but I will give it a pretty high score. Um, the build quality is pretty exceptional. Um, their support for weird operating systems, for the weird operating systems I'm into, like Linux, is out of the park. Um, in fact, they even give you manuals if you're just to get started. Um, and the fact that this is a kit, that this is like sold as a kit with like multiple antennas and, and pieces of kit, it's really, really a good deal. Um, all for $50. I mean, like, yeah. You know. And as for stuff like signal reception, I mean, I kind of tested it throughout the day. In fact, I, um, yeah, I was only really, I was only really able to pick up the local FM stations in my town. Um, and the ones with like really, with relatively high power. Um, but this was because I was mostly running my antenna in like it was in my bedroom the whole time and I've never really had the greatest reception in the room so I will say so maybe sometime in future in fact probably by the time I upload this I'll probably have um, tested I'm going to be going out and testing this and probably doing like a few tests and in a world you know in the outside world and you know test it with the antennas outdoors in this case because you know, it's because it's kind of useless when it's indoors and all that, but you know, it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, I give this a pretty good rating. Um, you know, good old 10 out of 10. Very nice. Um, yeah, that being said, that leads us to the end of today's video. Um, not sure if I'm going to be doing much more about SDR or weird kind of niche ham radio type devices like this. Um, it's kind of rare that I do tech reviews anymore these days. Most of my content's been whatever the hell I want to put up, um, which mostly, for the most part, has been gaming and Splatoon and producing software and all these different things. So if you like that kind of content, stick around, um, leave a like and subscribe. You know, who knows what you're going to get on a certain week. I always upload on Saturdays. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, and if you liked it, what you saw, leave a like and subscribe. It might sway my decisions to make further videos like this. And yeah, but anyways, um, that's it for today's video, and bye.